Okay, so let's go ahead and look at two different data sets and assess both of them for normality. The first one is called the cars data set. John recorded the speed in miles per hour of cars driving past his house where the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. The data set, and you can see part of it in the screen here, data set is a random sample from his measurements. So 16.27, 16.57, 16.7 miles per hour and so on. The final one is at 34.06 miles per hour. Uh, to add the data set to R, we use this following command. You can find it on the uh, class website, the, my slides. But it's a read CSV file. What it does is it will load up that spreadsheet into R and allow us to play with it. And again, the name of this data set is cars. So I'll start off with cars. When working with a data sets, uh, data set, we can refer to a specific variable using um, Kind of standard notation for R is to give the name of the data set, the dollar sign, and the very specific variable you want to look at. In our example, cars is the name of the data set. The specific variable is the speed. And you can see that, it, um, I'll show you in a moment, that in R, you can see what the names of the variables are. We use that name that's in R. Uh, make sure that you have the same case you know, either uppercase or lowercase. R is case sensitive, so if I use a capital cars, uh, I would get some error messages. But if I wanted to get like the mean, I'd type in mean, parentheses, car, dollar sign, speed, and I'll find that the, oops, it's 23.8 miles per hour. If I wanted to find the standard deviation, I would type SD, and then in parentheses, cars, dollar sign, speed. And again, find the standard deviation is 3.56 miles per hour. If you don't really like that, when you could, um, that notation, you could say x equal to that specific variable and then go mean x, sdx. You'll get the same results. So you can rename the variables if you want to. As far as the commands for normality, here is a result of using hist, cars, dollar sign, speed. And you see that nothing really stands out. It looks reasonably unimodal, symmetric. Um, maybe a little bit of an outlier right there at the end, but for the most part, this looks pretty good. If I want to use a probability plot, I use the QQ norm and QQ line commands back to forth. And you can see here is the graph, uh, the probability plot. The points for the most part are pretty much right on the line or very close. Now, if I want to create Z scores, I first, you know, um, uh, I would first define, I would first let X equal the card dollar sign speed, which is a lot easier that way. And then I'll use the formula that Z is equal to the X minus the mean of the X's divided by the standard deviation of the X's. And then from there, I'll type in a summary command. Um, you can see that my minimum has a z-score of negative 2.13. My maximum is 2.87. Uh, all those values are between negative 3 and positive 3. So taking everything in consideration, the histogram, the probability plot, and the z-scores, it's safe to say that this is the data set is reasonably normal. Now, actually show it. And first thing you want to do is read, you know, do the read.csv command. So there's the command up there in the upper left. I'll just hit run. And now it's loaded. You can see up in the upper right there, cars, 100 observations, one variable. If I click on cars, here's the variable itself, 100 observations. You can scroll down. All right, so if I want to create a histogram, uh, you type the command hist cars dollar sign speed. So if I run that, and you see there's the histogram. Again, looks fairly unimodal, symmetric, more or less. There is an outlier there, but it's not a huge outlier. Um, QQ norm, again, looks pretty good overall. Um, the points are fairly straight. And let me add the line to it, QQ line. 
cars, dollar sign speed. Uh, if I want to create Z scores, again, I'll start off saying let X equal to car, dollar sign speed. You'll see here in the upper right, now X is defined to be um, the car's dollar sign speed. The 16.3, 16.6, 16.7. I go back to the data set, the very top of the data set. Well, this is to the hundreds, but 16.3, 16.6, 16.7, they match up. Uh, from there, I'm going to define my z-scores. I'll say x minus mean divided by the standard deviation. And now in the upper right, you'll see that z has been defined. And if I do a summary of the z-scores, summary, parentheses, z, I'll find the minimum and maximum, well, and everything in between of my z-scores. So the smallest z-score, negative 2.13, largest 2.87. Again, overall, this looks pretty good. This is kind of a nice one to work with. Now, the next data set, and the last data set for this one, is the TV data set. This is a random sample of 200 college students conducted during the week of March 15, 1999. Asked for the number of hours of TV they watched per week. And you can see, in terms of some of the results, here's five. Uh, one hour, three hours, one hour, two hours, three hours, and so forth. And again, if I want to add the data set to R, then use the read.csv command. Again, don't worry too much about that command right now. I'll just give you the command. So just copy and paste it into R. This will load up the data set. Uh, if you want to find the mean instead of deviation, the mean, in this case, the data set is called TV. The specific variable is hours. So TV dollar sign hours. See, 3.66, standard deviation 4.93. Yeah, let's just go right to there. So let me read the TV data set. Okay, it's in there. If I click on it, you can see the name at the top is hours. That's the variable I want to refer to. So if I want to find the mean, I'd go um, mean, if I can spell it. TV, uh, dollar side hours. Whoops. Yeah. And nice thing is that R will kind of help you out if it. Uh, it'll try to guess what you're trying to do. And I see you know, the the average number of hours was 3.66 hours. If I want to find standard deviation, SD, TV dollar sign. The hours pops up. I just hit enter. It's right there. Hit enter again. 4.93. So if I want to create data, uh, uh, histogram, <clears throat> histogram, I would go hist TV dollar sign hours. I do that, and I'm seeing that this looks pretty skewed. The average was about 3.66, so the average is right around here. Uh, right around the second bar. But you can see that some of the data values went past 25. Um, if I want to do a probability plot, it's QQ norm TV dollar sign hours. I run that. That looks uh, like a very strong bend. So this does not look like a straight line. I can add the QQ line to it. You can see that the data set kind of follows it a little bit, but then definitely veers off. And this are strong bends. And this is the kind of bend we'll see for skewed data. So in this case, this does not look normal. And for the last one, if I want to create z-scores, you know, I would first let x equal to the variable tv dollar sign hours. And now x has changed. And I'll do the same thing for z scores. That that goes z is equal to x minus the mean of x divided by the standard deviation of x. I run that. And I'll change the z scores here. If I do a summary, the minimum is negative 0.74, so definitely not a minimum on the lower side. But my maximum is 4.33, which is definitely more than three. And you can see there's a very big discrepancy between the minimum and maximum. 
We'd like those to be about the same number, except one negative, one positive. Um, the max is much larger and it's more than three. There's, it's clearly skewed. So for this data set, the TV data set, um, I would say that normal distribution is not an appropriate model. This is definitely skewed to the right. 